Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So today we are checking out another video from Eminem on the channel. I've done quite a few reactions to Eminem and this song was recommended by quite a few people. So I decided to do this one as the next one. Let me know in the comments what else I should check out from Eminem. But without further ado, here we go. Ooh, that's loud. Somebody's gonna go fight. Months well, earlier. Dishwashing job. Good man, man. So fun. Feels like a close. It's coming to fucking mine. Gonna do. It's too late to start over. This is the only thing I think I know. Sometimes I feel like all I ever do is find different ways to word a. I really like that opening. Something about closer. Sometimes it feels. What am I gonna do? Start over. Sometimes I. Basically saying you can't start over. Or this is all you know how to do. How many people feel that? Sorry, I know I already paused 30 seconds in, but that was just. I feel like that kind of set the tone for the song. Like you feel like. Maybe you're unhappy in what you are doing, but you feel like it is too late to change paths. That's what you do. You're good at it. It. You make a living. I could be entirely wrong, but I feel like that kind of sets the tone for the song. Only thing I, thing I know. Sometimes I feel like all I ever do is find different ways to word the same old song. Ever since I came along from the day the song called How My Name Is Dropped, I started thinking my name was Fall. Because anytime things went wrong, I was the one who they would blame it on. The media Fair. made media for the link of a modern day Genghis Khan. Try to argue it was only entertainment, dog. Gangster? Nah, courageous balls. Had to change my style. <laughs> I said I'm way too soft. And I sound like Daisy and Nas, out came the claws And the thing's been out since then, but up until the instant that I went against it It was ingrained in me that I wouldn't amount to a shit stain, I thought No wonder mm. I had to unlearn everything my brain was taught Do I yeah. really belong in this game, I pondered I just wanna play my part, should I make waves or not? So back and forth in my brain, the tug of war wages on And I don't wanna seem ungrateful to disrespect the art form I was raised upon so But sometimes you gotta take a loss and have people rub it in your face before you get made pissed off And keep plugging, it's your only outlet and your only outfit, so you know they're gonna talk about it. Better find a way to counter it quick and make it ah. I feel like I've already said this a cabillion eighty times. How many times can I say <laughs> the same thing different ways that rhyme? What I really yeah. wanna say is, if there's anyone else that can relate to my story, bet you feel the same way I felt when I was in the same I place you were when I was. I wanna pause it really quickly. I know he was talking, but she was coming in. So relatable, so relatable. I don't remember every single word. He just said, there's some kind of noise. I don't, I hear my dog now, but there's something. So I'm sorry if you heard a big thump. It's like something fell, but everything is where it should be. Um, talking about he was told from an early age, and I'm sorry if I, I, I'm remembering incorrectly, that he wouldn't amount to anything. That is a hard thing to get over. If you, from the get go, from the jump, your entire youth are told you'll be nothing. It can be so difficult to rewire your brain to believe in yourself, if that makes sense. Um, and I love the relatability of the video that he's working as a dishwasher and it's, he's still struggling to make ends meet and he's got the applications there for welfare. I've been there. I have plenty of friends that have been there. Um, some, sometimes you need a little... Uh, a little help, but that's what it's there for. Anyway, um, super relatable. I feel like so far the song is very much in line with, a, you know, a place I've been a time or two, a place plenty of other people have been a time or two. I've worked at Burger King and had assistance. I worked at, I had it at more places than just there, but, um, all of that to say, to a degree, the song speaks to my heart and I think would speak to the heart of quite a few friends who probably know this song because quite a few of them like rap music and probably have it, have this CD somewhere. Anyway, I'm sorry for the long pause. I really like this so far. When else they can relate to my story? Bet you feel the same way I felt music when I was in the same place you are when I was afraid to. Afraid to make a single sound. Afraid I will never find a way out.
I I don't know if her name is Sia or Saya. Saya doesn't sound right. I feel like it would be Sia. I, to my knowledge, I've never heard her before. Um, I really like her voice. She has this almost haunting, hauntingly pained, pained, P-A-I-N-E-D, or ache kind of in her voice in a really beautiful way. Like, it's just got this ache intertwined into her voice. And I don't remember all of the words now, but despite the the belief that I will amount to nothing, at this point I'm putting guts, I'm putting belief in myself and the willingness to take a risk against all odds. I am going to place that above the fear that has been... No, just, I don't know, it, it, um, embedded in my heart. I really, I really like what it's saying. I'm going to stop pausing so much. That's our fear. Close, it's coming to fucking what gonna do is to make the start over. This is the only thing I, thing I know. It was like I was there once, single parents. Hate your appearance Did you struggle to find your place in this world? And the pain spawns all the anger on But it wasn't until I put yeah. the pain in song Learn who to aim it on That I made a spark Started to spit hard as shit Learn how to harness it While the reins were off yeah. And there was a lot of bizarre shit But the crazy part As soon as I stopped saying I gave up fuck Haters started to appreciate my art And it just breaks my heart To look at all the pain I caused But what am I gonna do when the rage is gone And the lights go out in that trailer park And the window is closing And there's nowhere else that I can go It flows and I'm frozen Cause there's no more emotion for me to pull from just a bunch of playful songs that I make for fun. So to the break of dawn, here I go. I want to hear those lyrics again. I'm trying to keep up with the lyrics. Part of my brain wants to really watch the video and pay attention, but I'm trying to focus more on what he's saying, so I'm sorry if I miss part of the visuals. But my brain can only give primary focus to one of them, and I really want to hear the lyrics more so. He said something about all there would be left as happy lyrics or something like that. It just breaks my heart to look at all the pain I caused. But what am I gonna do when the rage is gone and the lights go out in that trailer park? And the window was closing and there's nowhere else that I can go. It flows and I'm frozen because there's no more emotion for me to pull from. Just a bunch of playful songs that I make for fun. Yeah. So to the break of dawn, here I go recycling the same old song. But I'd rather make not afraid to than make another motherfucking we made you. Uh. Now I don't want to seem indulgent when I discuss my lows and my highs, my dumb eyes and my uprise. Pray to God, I just open enough eyes later on and gave you the supplies and the tools to hopefully use that'll make you strong enough to lift yourself up when you feel like yeah. i felt because i can't explain to y'all how dang exhausted my legs felt just having to balance my tank self when on eggshells i was made to walk but thank you marcus that gave me the straight to call shady mania so when yeah. they empty that stadium at least i made it out of that house and found a place in this world when the day was done so this is for every kid who all they ever did was jumped and one day just getting accepted i represent him or her anyone similar you are the reason that i made this song and everything is scared to Love say, don't be afraid to say no more. From this day forward, just let the Mayhos talk. Take it with a grain of salt. And eat the fucking faces off! <laughs> the legend of the angry blonde lives on through you when I'm gone. And the thing I, I was. was uh... I'm sorry to pause going into the chorus again. I just want to say, as he was coming up toward this chorus, it was like he got. He let. He got. He let himself. He let the anger carry through into the way he was rapping there. And I really liked kind of the escalation of his vocal delivery if that makes sense like it's like self-reflection and then i want to you know what thanks mom because because of you i have the strength to now rewire my brain and push through and make something of myself i, I know i'm getting part of that wrong but hopefully you know what i mean it's just it's like a he got more aggressive with the way he was delivering. Good grief, my dog is whining. Anyway. Just let the mayhos talk. Take it with a grain of salt. And eat the fucking faces off. <laughs> the legend of the angry blonde lives on through you when I'm gone. And the thing I, I was, was uh, uh, afraid to make a single sound. Afraid I would never find a way out. Afraid I'd never be found. Oh. Yeah. 
feel like I'm getting gypped. There should have been a fight. Although maybe it's better to leave it as. We'll never know. But he made something of himself. I love what that was song was saying. Uh, like Eminem's lyrics were to some degree relatable. You know, feeling like you're stuck. That's all you know how to do. Or that's just what you are doing. It's too late to start over from scratch and something else entirely. It's a big risk. You could fall and lose everything. What little you may have. And so to to some degree the lyrics are relatable but at the same time Eminem is a I want to say multi-platinum I don't know exactly but I'm going to say multi-platinum because probably millionaire who did build himself from nothing which is admirable and inspiring but at the same time he is now a millionaire so although as a listener his lyrics at face value are for the most part relatable it's it, the kind of what he's made himself to be is beyond what the vast majority of us are ever going to see. I have no problem with that. Um, but some people may aspire to be, you know, that millionaire, whatever. Cool. But um, the video, because it had, I feel like, um, just more of an everyday person, somebody who didn't necessarily become a millionaire. Not that, that I'm not discounting Eminem's story at all. All I mean is, the the video was just a guy a dishwasher that was struggling and his wife I think was pregnant and struggling to make ends meet I feel like most people have been there at least most of the people I know have been in a situation either that pretty much that exact situation or something similar I know very few people who never struggled um so I like that the video had just an even more relatable story, if that makes sense, where he believed in himself and he took the risk to become, um, would that be boxing? And he may not become a millionaire, but the video makes it look like he was able to shift and make his living that way, ideally enough to, you know, pay for groceries and whatnot. Um, but it was... I, I, I like the, I'm sorry for rambling so much. I like the vulnerability and the realness in these lyrics from Eminem. That's not something I expected from Eminem when I started reacting to him. And it's making me respect him even more, not just as a an artist or a rapper, but as a human being. Um, I've seen 8 Mile. You know, I used to watch that movie quite a bit. Um, but I don't know. I don't know now that I'm older, I think about things differently, I approach things differently, respond to things differently. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I really, really liked the song. I liked C Sia's voice, Sia, um, and I enjoyed it, and I liked how relatable it was to, you know, the everyday person or somebody from the working class, as politicians say, you know, people that have jobs. Anyway, um, thank you very much for the recommendation. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.